In today's guitar tutorial, we're gonna go over all of the modern metalcore guitar techniques. I'm gonna go over all the ones I could possibly think of, which is a lot. I'm gonna keep them beginner friendly and then more advanced. So the first thing is just chugs, which if you don't know by now, it's basically just putting your palm to block the string. And there's different ways to chug, so you can... But you'll find that the more you move your palm up, the tighter the chug will be. Goes a long way if you find that your chugs are kind of sustaining a little bit too much or if they're not as cutty as you want them to be when you're tracking. Just move your right hand, your palm, up towards the neck. It starts to become a harmonic after a while, so be careful. Obviously, you can take that technique and add some sort of chords to it. Doomy sounding ones. Let's make it a little bit more interesting. This next level, we're gonna spice it up with a very modern metalcore guitar technique. And basically all we're gonna do is hit our open string. And then without plucking again with your pick, press down on fret 12. We can also do it with fret 13 to get that modern metalcore sound of the semitone. But if we add chugs in between, typical modern metalcore notes would be open 12, 13, 15, keeping it in the. So it's very common to do the whole open thing with palm mutes going to 12 and 13 and in those notes around. So let's explore that. Just adding a chug in between there somewhere spices it up a little bit. So our next technique would be to implementing tapping. Basically you're gonna be using this hand to hit a certain note on your guitar. What's very common in metalcore is to still keep it open 12, 13, and then 24. That way we're getting the two octaves. They're all the same note. On my guitar it's in G, so it's G, G, G. But then we add that 13 to give the semitone sound. So we'll keep the same open 12, 13 kind of notes as before, but now we're gonna implement tapping the octave up of 24, as well as 22, just to throw it in. Spice it up a little bit. And if that's too fast, obviously slow it down. Start with very simple, kind of keep the same technique. It's a good way to practice and just get used to it. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then obviously you can start implementing more notes within that scale, like I just did there. Another common technique is string skipping. So we're gonna keep the same relative notes of open 12, 13, just because it's very modern metalcore to kind of do these high kind of like pull off, hammer on things. Since we're in a drop tuning, so these two are the same note. It's common to keep the same notes, but to skip that string in between, that one, and just keep it to. So instead of doing something like, we're gonna do, or instead of, we'll do, in slow motion. And then we can obviously add the whole tapping sections after that as well. The world's your oyster. This next technique is very similar. We'll call it the gent chug. 
The only difference really is that instead of pressing all the way down with your left hand on fret 12 or wherever, we're basically just going to be percussively hitting the strings and kind of chugging with this hand in a weird way without even chugging. So we're going to alternate between but quicker. as well as moving your palm slightly more towards the neck to get more of that percussive, tighter chug as opposed to a looser. So it can be very handy, especially if you're doing those kind of modern metalcore string skipping techniques and stuff like that. This next technique is more of a death chord thing, and it's kind of those dissonant, one open chug chords. So to get things to sound heavier usually, instead of doing full palm mute open ones, what you're gonna do instead of open, 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 we're gonna do one, zero, zero. instantly sounds way more destructive. As long as you keep that kind of chord structure, you can move your fretting hand around and it'll sound destructive. A good way to keep things heavy, but another way that we can keep things heavy as well is to start implementing bends. Bending it and keeping it held out longer, just, I don't know, it adds more interest to the riff. So next thing that we can do really are all the sounds that we're able to do on guitar. I've made a whole video dedicated to a bunch of different sounds that you can make if you want to check out this video right there. But yeah, we can do harmonics instead of pressing all the way down on your string on fret 2. You'll notice that as you slightly let go of it, you'll get the harmonic sound. So basically your finger is just touching the string. If you move your fretting hand around, the more you experiment, the more you'll find these similarities and the differences. For instance, like even on one fret, there's multiple notes. There's three right there. There's infinite possibilities. Check out this video to learn more. There's also the pinch harmonic, which I've done another video on, so you can check it out right here if you want, or I'll put all these in the description down below, but... Basically, you're gonna use your thumb just to stop the string when you're picking it. And it's similar to the harmonic where if you change where your fretting hand is on the harmonic, it'll change the note. If you change where your picking hand is on a pinch harmonic, it'll change the note. And then there's all the pick scrapes, the upwards pick scrape, the backwards pick scrape. Another cool thing with harmonics is if you play a note and then you tap an octave up of that note, you'll get a harmonic of that octave up sound. Works with any note. And I guess the last thing we can go over is typical metalcore kind of chord structure. So what's normal is to add the second of the chord. So you'll see I can take a very common and very boring chord progression. We're just going from 5 to 10 to 3 to 8. All we really have to do to spice that up is to add the second of the chord. So since we're in the drop tuning, that's a power chord. But if we add the second note, which is two frets up, instantly we have a much nicer chord. The second almost always works. Okay. 
And then we can also add a third up, a major third up, I guess. That one's a major one. Sometimes the minor one works as well. And then another one to do is to add the semitone, actually. This is a really easy way to spice up your chords. Just be careful with the... Because it can instantly, if you're singing especially, add some sort of rubbing that you're not going to like. So now let's play that chord progression again. What I'm going to do is the first time around play the very standard one. The second time around add the interesting chords with the seconds and with the thirds. So thank you so much for watching. If you found any use in this video, let me know in the comments down below. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. And I've done a bunch of videos like this already, so I'll leave those in the description down below. Thank you so much. See you next time. See ya.